As you read through the book of Nehemiah, the themes of rebuilding and restoring, they almost leap from the pages of this book. God's plan for his people was that they would rebuild the city walls of Jerusalem and that they as a people would be restored. And it's really neat how the book fits neatly into these themes. I mean, chapters one through seven are all about the rebuilding of the city walls of Jerusalem. And from chapter eight through the end of the book, we see God restoring his people into the city of Jerusalem. And chapter eight records for us the revival we see in the hearts of the people. Chapter nine, their remorse over sin. And in chapter 10, a strong recommitment to God. And their recommitment, it wasn't a reaction, but a thoughtful response that included three things. You see, here's what we see in chapter 10 today. First, in verse 29, we're told that they brought their lives under the authority of God's word. Second, verse 28 tells us that they separated themselves from the people around them, how they lived, what they worshiped and prioritized, and they were separated unto God. And third, at the end of the chapter, we see the people dedicating their finances to the work of God. And all of these are real keys in our walk with the Lord. By having our minds and our hearts under the authority and the filter of God's word, having our lifestyles be more influenced and impacted and shaped by the community of the church than our culture, and by investing the money that God gives us into his kingdom, you see, we too experience God's continued restorative work in our lives. Sir Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we get, but a life out of what we give. And Jesus, Jesus said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So let me encourage you today, as you read this chapter, to have your heart and your mind captivated by the word of God, not to be shaped by the world around us, but to intentionally invest by giving to the work of God in our world.